Interpretation of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we started to have interpretation of Quran, Part 30, Chapter Nazat. Please listen to the verse 1 to 5. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنازعات غرقا والناشطات نشطا والسابحات سبحا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا الله تبارك وتعالى سيد والنازعات قرقا I swear by the angels who violently pull out the souls of the wicked and by those who gently draw out the souls of the blessed and by those who float in a space then those who are foremost going ahead than those who regulate the efforts. When Nazaate Karga, Allah starts with this sentence. Chapter Nazaat has 46 verses and it is revealed in Mecca. The name that we say Nazaat is taken from the first verse of Quran when Nazaat Qarqa. So Allah swears to Nazaat and name of this chapter is Nazaat. Nazaat means the angels who take away the souls of the people. We said this chapter is revealed in Mecca. The chapters that have been revealed in Mecca are talking about Judgment Day, Resurrection Day. And this verse is the same. It's talking about Judgment Day. So most of the verses in this chapter have connection to the Judgment Day and the day after. Allah says, I swear to the angels who take away the souls. Since the angels will take and they are in charge of taking the souls, either very bad, in a bad way, or very softly and gently. But since Allah is talking about these angels, Allah starts to swear to them. In this chapter, Allah is talking about Moses and Pharaoh. The various of Pharaoh, what did he do? And Allah's punishment. As Allah wants to say, okay, one person like Moses obeyed Allah and how Allah deals with him. And one person disobeyed Allah and was a rebellious person and how Allah is going to punish him Allah is talking about this chapter when Nazaat Qarqa I swear to those that they are taking away the souls very bad Naz, naz it means to cut when something is taken severely it is Naz والنازعات قرقا what is قرق قرق means intensity very intensive نشت it means to open a tie and when we say نشاط it means happiness when some problems will be solved a person has نشاط it means he is happy It means, I swear to the angels that when they want to 
do the responsibility to fulfill their duties, they are very happy. They do with pleasure. Sometimes we obey Allah. For example, we pray, we make a fast, but we don't enjoy. You tell your child to buy some items for you. He says, okay, I'm going to do that. It means he's not happy and he shows you. Of course, it bothers the parents. When the child will do something, but he's not happy, he's complaining. When Allah is talking about these angels, Allah says, Those that they, when they want to fulfill their responsibility, they do with the pleasure. And also, Nashit will be told to a person that will take a bucket of water from a well. What is the similarity between to take a bucket of water from a well and to take the salt? It is as Allah wants to bring the example. It is when Allah, these angels want to take the soul of a person, it is like to take a bucket of water from well. For some people it's so difficult and they take it very heartily. And with some people, is exactly opposite. So, النازعات والناشطات We can say both of them are attributes for angels. Some angels will take the soul very gently and softly and some of them will take very hardly. والصابحات سبحا Sabahat from Sabah means moving on water or air so fast. It refers to some and to the angels that when they want to fulfill their responsibility as they are moving on the air or water, they move so fast to obey Allah. We ask Allah to help us to obey Him in such a way with pleasure. Some people pray and enjoy, they make fast and enjoy. And some people, when they want to pray, really, they have hundred problems. And if they want to solve some of their problems, they start to pray. They say, you know, we lost something. It is good to pray to remember that. Imam Ali says, there are some angels that when they want to take the soul, they will take very gently. They don't want a person will be bothered. يَقْبِذُونَ أَرْوَاحِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ يُسَلُّونَهَا سَلًّا رَفِيقًا They take the souls of the believers very gently as they sleep. They die as they slept. They feel nothing and it doesn't bother them. When Allah says, وَالنَّازَآتِ قَرْغَا وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْتَا It shows that the angels have a special value in the viewpoint of Allah and also their job are so important. So, in the wise system, they have a very important position that Allah swears to them. To them. So the steward is important and also these angels have a special position in the view of Allah. We can say that all these attributes that Allah said, we can say five different attributes. When Naza'at, it means to take the soul very hardly or softly. When When they move so fast, it means they pass each other. When they want to fulfill their responsibility, they try to pass each other. And فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ amra, Those that they organize everything and regulate everything. These five attributes can be for one group of angels that 
this group of angels, when they want to do something, for some people they take the soul very hardly, for some people very soft, they pass each other, they organize and regulate everything perfectly, and also they pass each other. When Allah says, It means people in this world are divided to two different types. One group of people, those who are attached to this world. They are attached to the material. Of course, it's so difficult to detach from this world. These angels will take these people who were attached so bad with heartily and they suffer. Allah Taala says, It means the day of death for some people is so difficult as they are going to be punished in that second and for some people is nashta, it means the second of happiness. Some people will enjoy. If they have problem, they have problem in this world. This is the meaning of the narration that we have dunya sijnul mu'min wa jannatul kafir. This world is the prison for mu'min, a believer, wa jannatul kafir, and the paradise for non-believers. Of, of course, the second of the death is exactly reverse and opposite side. It means in the time of death, some people enjoy those who are believers and obeyed Allah and for some people is so difficult. When Allah says Annazaat and Nashitat as it means different duties and different responsibilities. The angels will take the souls very bad or softly and gently or they pass each other or move so fast for the angels, different attributes for angels. When Allah says, وَالنَّشِطَاتِ nashta," I swear to the angels that they fulfill the responsibility with happiness and pleasure. It means it has a special value. If you want to obey Allah, you should try to obey Him with pleasure. To show Him that you are not tired, you enjoy it. It has a value. وَالصَّبْحَاتِ sabha. When Allah swears to the angels who moves in the air or water, it means the field for fooling the responsibility is everywhere. Earth, air, water. Fasabagat. Allah swears to the angels who pass each other. It means they enjoy and with the pleasure they try even to pass each other to fulfill their responsibility. When Allah says, sabhan, it means all of them are doing their job, their job perfectly. For some people, take, they take their soul hardly, some softly. And they do very fast with pleasure. When Allah says, Allah yudabbiru al-amr, Allah is in charge and is managing everything. But in this chapter, we will read, of course, فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ amra is talking about the angels and he says, the, the angels are regulating everything. It means with the permission of Allah. It doesn't contradict when it says Allah yudabbiru al-amr. Nobody can say how Allah is in charge, but at the same time the angels are in charge. Of course, the angels are in charge. It means with the power and permission of Allah. And Allah is in charge by its nature. It doesn't take a permission from anybody or power from anything, anybody. It is exactly the same when we say we are a scholar, for example. It means we got some knowledge from Allah. But when we say Allah is a alim and knows everything, it means he doesn't take from anybody. It means 
to regulate everything is not an accident. There are some angels that they are in charge. To manage everything has a special value that it worse that Allah sword to that when he says We ask Allah to help us to be able to manage our world, our daily life. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.